There's loads of games, Tekken 4, and there's loads of games you can play and enjoy. Smackdown 4 is quite good, uh, Pro Evolution 2, and there's a lot of competitions going on and a lot of fun going on. We've seen Time Splitters 2 on 4 player, and that was impressive. Uh, Red Faction 2 seemed alright. Um, Turkey Evolution, um, Formula 1 2002, Rally Fusion, Colin McRae, Tucker Race Driver. Definitely, I'm a big Tomb Raider fan, so I'm I was going to buy it regardless of what it was like, but it's exceeded my expectations so far. Um, Lord of the Rings, we didn't know it was out, or they were, the damn game looks quite good, so we're going to go over to there next and uh, go from there. The Mortal Kombat, I like the Mortal Kombat, that's, that's pretty nice, you know. I didn't expect it to be this good, it, it seemed quite playable, you know. Um, either Time Splitters 2 or On the Motion 2. Uh, the football, the sports games, um, Tekken 4. And Smackdown 4? Um, I think the best thing is probably Pro Eve 2. Pro yeah. Evolution 2, yeah, that's probably the best thing we've seen. Closely followed by SOCOM. Navy SEAL, that's an amazing game. Uh, really good on the multiplayer. Um, but definitely the Evo 2 is so much improvement on the first one. Big fan of the first one, huge fan. Um, so far, it looks like it's Tekken 4. Um, seems to be a bit more original than everything else. It seems to be a lot of all the games are like the same, you know what I mean? But the graphics are not, so. Faction 2 was pretty disappointing, it didn't look that much different, it wasn't that crude. Turok Evolution was a bit jerky, and that looked pretty basic. Uh, it's the PS1 games. I think the overall development of uh, PlayStation 2 games has improved. Uh, definitely from the launch titles, I think that they've come on leaps and bounds. I think they've probably had to with the competition from Nintendo and Microsoft. Uh, definitely everything is really good. Uh, Tomb Raider, again. Uh, no, why? You know, should have died a long time ago. Um, and there seems to be a lot of football games that are exactly the same as normal. So, yeah, Tomb Raider definitely, you know, give it up. <laughs> Lord of the Rings, I must say. You got Lord of the Rings. No, no, I like Lord of the Rings, but I think to look at visually is very nice, but playability wise is a bit naff. I think, you know, I've played those kind of games before. So, if you're Lord of the Rings fans, man, I'm sorry to uh, have offended you, man, but. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's playability that comes first, as you know, and I don't know, I just find it a bit naff. <laughs> uh, it's not a bad game, but it's still looking pretty rough around the edges. Yeah. So I'll be surprised if it comes out before January. Playing it, the handling's quite good, the cars. I didn't get to shoot anybody, I sort of died before that in the car. Uh, the graphics are really good, and um, I have to say that London looks pretty good on it. The graphics are very good, I'm very impressed with them. Um, Driving is very simple. Yeah. There wasn't very much technical to it. Aiming was very difficult. I found it very difficult to shoot anything. Yeah. Um, player movement was quite jerky, I found. I think it's quite good. It looks, it looks quite, graphics look quite good. And it looks quite uh, good gameplay. Uh, yeah, it looks, it looks quite a lot of fun. It's not 100% uh, complete yet, so you can't get a full picture, but what you can see looks pretty good. I've seen a little bit, it's quite impressive, like the graphics, but I don't know what the actual story like. A bit like Max Payne, across between Max Payne and uh, Grand Theft Auto 3. I don't know. The getaway is very nice as well, actually, I should have mentioned that. <laughs> That's quite a nice game, very, very playable.